Uh, today we're going to be adding the fire power up, so just stay tuned with us, and we're going to make Mario so that we can shoot fireballs. And I'm going to show you my, uh, so I added P switches too, so, and this one's like a bit like squishy, like I'm sl like slippery because like real Mario is slippery. And there is like these blocks, but the, the blocks are going. And then you got Mini Mario, of course. And you got, like, see, I got the red poop bug, yes. Can I take it out? If I took it out, you can just stop it. And you can bump head blocks. You need to turn, turn to Big Mario. And I'm gonna show you the fire. Is it here? The fire power? Oh, yeah. The fire power, now I'll show you. Next episode, we'll be adding the, like, the. Like, see, now, look at our fireballs. The fireball, they can press X or space or B to shoot them. And you can destroy enemies like Koopas and Piranhas. Now you don't need to just fear for Koopas and Piranhas in your path. And also you get new enemies to explore. Okay. Enough fun. For the next episode, the next next episode, we will be able to add like the different things. But first, I want to first cover the poison mushrooms and the life mushrooms but i think that's good for one of the episodes but today we're gonna add the fire flower go to the enemy sprite and go find costume 34 and drag that to the tile sprite and it's 71 it's supposed yeah it's supposed to be oh yeah. and then go into editor and show the uh tile key map was and and for 71, I'm going to make some space here, it's 9, so do that, hide your that key necklace, do that, but, but first, okay, oh yeah, okay. what did I do, okay, make a press a one, put a one F key press, and then if username, you don't have to do the if username, I said, check if username, Username name equals yes or whatever your account is. It doesn't have to be my account. And it has not. And then put it there and then set Mario to fire. There we go. Set Mario to fire Wait. then like that and now if you code it press F and oh yeah if you did your username correct capitalization as I said counts too now you see when we like get the damage by like uh, the Mario I mean uh, far, uh, fire Mario when we're in fire Mario's mode still we just immediately turn back into Super Mario. I mean, I mean Mini Mario. And that's not good. I'll find somewhere so I can actually damage, damage myself. Yo. This is basically, we're gonna add it. When we press X, you shoot the simple fireball me mechanics. The simple, we're gonna add the fireball mechanics in the next episode. We're gonna make them bouncy. And I bet, I suppose I'm faster than the. I'm supposed I'm faster than Shell. Well, to the enemy spread and locate the define spawn type. Go here. I'm gonna just. Yeah. 
And then you see over here we have the if type equals 30 the, the, for the life. Then put another if at the very bottom. You can just pop, copy it, but I'm not, I don't like copying it, to be honest. Uh, but if type, oh, I can't get the type for this custom one. If type equals equals 71, remember that cost me number. So we remember it, and we set type to set type to life and costume is costume is costume is fire flower with capital both capital R fire flower and the width is 16 and the height 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 is 60, and that should be your block. And also, before that, we also need to put a set frame to negative 1. Like that, at the beginning. Okay, now if we test, bump some blocks, yep, no. Now we press nine. We got got. We press. Oh, after the red cube, but the five flower. Oh, fantastic! I'm gonna put it over here. And now if we bump it. It's like the mushroom. You see. Oh, but when we collect it, we have something, but we only have like we only grow up, as you see now. Yeah. Did you see that? We only grow up when we touch the fire flower and the mushroom is still here. We need to make sure that we switch to the fire Mario. And now in the sound sprite, go into sounds and put drag the cost link sound 27 or just what I needed into the enemy sprite. And I'm going to drag oh no star power into the Mario sprite. And this 26, I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's like meh, meh, meh. And then 25. Let's go. I bet that's all the sounds. And then go back in the enemy spray and locate the define tick life. And then at the very bottom, we start sound just what I need it. You don't need if else for that. And at the very bottom, put if else, oh wait, wait, and still the if Mario, if else, and check if. I need and if type what costume equals wait let me just go check again I need to see the set cost in C C type to type alright then it's costume If costume equals fire, fire, flower is like this has better. I'm not going to copy it for today, just for today. And then, and if Mario, if Mario equals Mario. And then set Mario to fire. We don't need animation for this because... Really, we don't have really have we don't really need. I don't even even if I tried to decide, I couldn't. Maybe I couldn't even do it. And put the collect mushroom go power up go up, and the else and put the leafy go after it fell. Now, if you see, if we collect the fire flower, yep, we turn to big Mario. But we can try if like check if like move here. Small Mario, wait, let me, I'll, I'll show you the fire flower actually in action. I'll get the, no, I'll be a regular Mario. And yeah, see, we get to my fire Mario. But, we can do better. We also check if in the 
the if touching Mario if before the if else oh my god if Mario actually in Then if else modify Mario, Mario, alright. And check now if we bump it. Not and now we can just check if Costa Mika's fire flower. And then if it, and check like now in the the if else check it if and check if Mario Mario. Mario equals mini. Then we just broadcast click. Then we simply set type to. Actually, no. We have to put this over there, so we still have to basically check the end. Why am I getting confused for some reason? We have to check up here in the sprouting. Checking if Mario equals mini and type equals, I mean costume equals fire flower. Then we simply set type to life and set costume to life. So now if we bump a block of mini Mario, it appears a mushroom. Good. And the other mushroom. Uh, press N and press zero and press N again. Oh my god. And I put fur. Oh yeah, see? Now we turn to like when we collect it and I'm gonna turn to back into mini Mario. And then now we can collect it. And we grow. That's good. That's very good. So you don't need a broadcast. You don't need the costume. Now let's get back to adding the, uh, the like if you press use for fireball. I mean for this if else instead of costume we have to put root costume since yeah we're saying root costume because it's like an extra costume in the one custom block and then for the top one too root costume and now if we do mini Ha! Working still. And if we do big, yep, everything's working. And I want to try if we be big and we bump this block. Yep, still mushroom. How about F? Still mushroom. Okay, pretty good. Now we just have to add the fireballs and we can. And some other little bits and bobs and bug fix and whatever. Okay. We got that fixed, so let's now go into the control since we have a new button. Add a new button. And make a new variable named button B. For all sprites. And check it if else. Check if else. Button. I mean if. Key. X. Press. Then or and I can do or space because some people like using space. Press then change button B by one. And then set and then else but set button B to zero. And let's test. Then, yes, I can. If we press button B, it changes. And if we keep pressing X or space, we just, yeah. That's basically the point. And now I can have a Koopa fight over here. Oh my god. It's like lawnmowing the monsters. See that? Let's see how.
Now we can take out one Koopa shell. Good. Now we need to actually shoot the fireballs. See, now we're just like pressing X and doing nothing and blah, blah, blah. That's all we're doing. And I'll, but before we do anything, I really want to put some fire flowers in here. Good. And for the last award over there, I need to put a fire flower. So you can power up. But I need more mushrooms. You mushrooms, powerful. Oh wait, let's get coding the fire burp. I just, I, I actually clicked the right time. You're gonna see the clones. Oh my God, what am I doing? Did I mess it up? But anyways, everything should be good and ha 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 ha. Oh, okay. well, we need to now code the fireballs, flame balls. In the costume in the enemy spread, go to cost the 15. Remember the flame ball we talked on, like not talked, but I said about on episode 16. This flame ball, as you see, it comes from the Venus flytrap. But also comes from Mario, so you can like run double it. But I'm not gonna actually teach how to make one Venus because there's so much on the screen. And what if it takes a hundred? You need to make hundred fireballs. See, look at the pixel art, like, like. But if you zoom in, you find out like everything just yellow, orange, and red, and a bit of green, and brown, and dark red. So everything is like. If you look at like. For the best art. Okay, let's go back into the code now. I'm going to the controls category, and I forgot that the button B is empty value. And with the else. And now in the players by go locate the define reset player. And at the very bottom, make a new. I mean, just make a new variable and name it fireballs for all sprite. Wait, what? Okay. I just said fireballs. So maybe because the last time I used the code, uh, I got these variables already set. Set fireballs to zero. And then go into go at the weather receive move player event receiver. And that uh, I make a new block now named handle handle keys fire fireball Roman does we refresh and under that custom block we will handle everything that we need and to shoot fireballs and I'm gonna she cut that block somewhere. I'm gonna place it here, place it here. Under that block, put an if. Checking if. Couldn't, 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 like, I mean. Uh. Uh, button B of controls. Where's button B? I mean, button. Wait, what? It's better me. Did I create for all sprite? Wait, oh god, I can't. I can't. I do it for all sprites. It's not good. Where's my control? Button B. I need to convert it for this sprite only. Anyone who doesn't have scratch add-ons can just make a, delete that variable and you make a new one. But anyways, put now button B. Oh, here it is equals one and then check if mario equals fire i need or because it's not you have to but i like like cheating a bit if mario because that's our only power right now except the jumping on enemies power equals fire or username equals 
whatever username you have. For me, it's yes, tutor. And then check another if checking a fire boss is a lesson. You say you can do two or any value or even one, but not zero. Or you can't even shoot fireballs. But anything that's above zero is okay. So to be honest, I really like shooting lots of fireballs. I don't like just shooting two at a time like in one on school screen. So I'm gonna do. 20, 200, not 20. I'll shoot 50 because sometimes you can just spam fireballs. I like that. And then change fireballs by one. And then it sounds. Oh, well, in the sounds right. Let me find the fireball. Yes. Go into Dragon into Mario and put the fireball. And then start sound fireball. Like that. We simply broadcast a new message named Mario Mario Fireball. Then go into the enemy spray and drag a winner receive Mario Fireball. And check it if type equals and the empty value. And then set, and then simply now set, and if this type to fireball, copy that we'll be needing later, and then create clone myself, and then set type to the empty value. And now, basically, nothing really happens. So we press X. Nothing doing. I will plus. Okay. Now we need to now code the script up. And did I fire Mario? Yes. Yes. Now in the enemy sprite, go find located to find when I start the clone. And at the bottom, put another if. Check if type equals. Fireball. Same type. And then set root costume to flame with a capital F. And then set costume to root costume. And then set wood to 8. Set height to 8. And then set X to X of Mario. There's a thing. There's a thing. Is it set Y to Y Mario plus sixteen? I mean fourteen. And now put it if else. Check if direction is greater than ninety. Then point in direction ninety. And if else, point in direction negative ninety. Exactly. But not point towards the direction. This direction of Mario. And not point in direction. It's set. I mean change. I mean set speed x to ten and negative ten. And then before the NFL set rotation style to all around. And then now in the and then the bottom put a set 
speed y to negative 6 and then set a uh, set then wait and then paint sprite and then set frame to the empty value and set visible to 2 since it's a non deli I mean uh, deli or deli enemy I meant like that I mean 0 now if we test if we press X wait oh yeah uh, for the if the direction Mario is equal greater than 0 why you front if you press X and nothing happens yeah we didn't even code up the thing yet oh yeah this is a Y Mario set Y not X yep nothing still happens because we even didn't even code up oh I thought it was just bumping something else so we oh yeah go to the Mario sprite and go locate the find move player and at the very bottom, we didn't even put the handle keys fireball. Now if X key press, we create close the fireball. Ha 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 ha. We press the ring flag. Yet they're back. I'm the fireball master. Oh god, look at this. Ha ha, my bouncing Koopas. Yeah, they're killing the enemies, but they're just not letting the enemy fall off screen. Please fall off screen. Ha. Ah, they can, like, basically put lasers. Now, if I'm mini, yeah, but I can still shoot fireballs. Because now he said, like, yep, everything's working good. Now I can just put, like, spam flames everywhere. Ha 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 ha! My flying power. Okay, we our sh fireball is, is showing and it is killing enemy, but it's not moving and it's not bouncing and it's not turning. But bouncing, turning. Next episode. And now, in the enemy sprite, in the and I mean first in sound and go into sound and drag the kick shell sound. Where's the kick shell sound? Oh, here it is. And drag it to the enemy. And go locate the define flip. And that the, at the beginning starts on kick shell. And now finally locate the define move enemy. Custom block, not the event move enemy. At the very bottom, put an if. Drink it if type. If type equals fireballs. And then make a new custom block named Tick Fireballs. Okay. Roll down screen refresh. Wait. What did I do? Okay. Where's my. Okay. We made it. And now we. What the. Oh. We need to put the Tick Fireball block in there. And then stop the script. And under the find take fireball, put a change frame by one. Then I check if frame is greater than two. Turn ninety degrees. Like that. Now we also need to set frame to zero here. And at the very bottom put a boost by X. And the green flag, and let me see your powers, enemies. Now, 
Let me turn to Fire Mario X. Watch out! You don't stand a chance to get my fireballs. Or what? Another thing we need to add is to make the fireballs delete on the, when they touch the edge. Well, my fireballs, and also when it looks, hits a wall, haha, -ha, everything is going a heck of a. But it's working so good. Oh my god, no more fireballs. 300 cold limit. What? No more, more fireballs. No more fireballs? Please! Well, okay, it seems we hit our limit. Fireball on the screen. I'm gonna take a fireball. Now you got like super OP with fireballs. Okay, let's let's now add the deleting and now at the very bottom, at the bottom moose bar X check if B Y is equal to zero. I mean speed X. And then make a new custom block named delete. Clones. Run without to refresh. And put the delete clones block in here. Under the define delete clones, put an if. Checking if fire if type equals fireball. Then change fireball by negative one. And then delete these clones in the else. I mean in like in the bottom. And now we have the 50 fireball limit now, but now, let's, wait, I need this. Done. Okay, delete. As I got the scratch out on clone counter, I also want, also want to show the fireball variable, so I can see how much fireball I'm shooting. Yes, is it deleting? Ah, it is. I'm going to have blast cannons with... Oh my god, look at the enemies. There's, they suck at this dodging fireball. I can't even blast away the level end. Oh my god. It's gonna be a heck of a while now. Ha. You know, no enemies stand a chance. I got my bouncing fireballs. Ha ha. Now the fireball's getting a bit too OP. See, as we shoot at the walls, they just disappear. Ha. Yep, just getting a bit too OP with Mario. We need to answer that. And also, we can't crouch and shoot fireball. So in the Mario sprite, go find the defined fire. Take fireballs. I mean, handle keys fireballs. And then, put another if in the inside. In like the outside. Check if not Mario equals crouch. So Mario, I mean, player action equals crouch. Now we crouch. Wait, up. Well, let me just find the define handle keys. Jump and crouch. We need onion. Oh, go away. I need to go back in the handle keys fireball. So, lowercase c. Can't press. You can't do this like the same. I think capitalization don't matter in this. Well, ah, now the fireball army is. Gatto, gatto, god, oh god. Now when you actually like, it's like the our Mario is not too OP, and if you just get this power up, you can blast away anything. Haha. -ha. 
my super bouncing Koopas here. You can also double register enemies and we'll fix most of the bugs next episode since this is just part one and we're just starting off simple. Oh my god, this is getting... Lucky I can't shoot through walls. Now basically that's the... Now when you see when the enemy dies... Haha, I blast away this level too. So yeah, basically our game is broken by this power. We can blast away their power? No! But well, we'll fix them in the next episode, but just one more thing to acquire, like is, uh, oh my god. Did I reject this? Okay. Now let's continue, because really, the maximum you can shoot is like 10 or 10 or like in one shot. Oh, okay. Now, we need to actually get some, some duties. So go into the end. Ah, I'm just tricking you. Well, this is another end of this tutorial. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and smash the like and smash the subscribe button for more UFT videos. And also, stay tuned to turn off the notification. And leave a comment. It also helps. So, yeah, just... In the next episode, we're gonna, like, upgrade the fireballs and make it not too OP. You know what like you might not like the sound of that if you don't if you want your game to be easy but it's gonna make it fun and challenging and every everybody will play this so see you next time bye I need it. Just what I need it.